I've been doing a lot of slow stitching and a lot of work with fabric and part of me was saying does this make you a fabric artist or a textile artist and it doesn't necessarily that's why I use the term mixed media because it means that I can jump from you know I can be doing clay and fabric one minute to painting to art journaling to book binding to writing poetry to singing <laughs> no <laughs> I do sing sometimes I do sing it's funny um, I'll be in the kitchen and I'll be there um, cooking or I don't know making something and I'll just burst out in song and it's luckily lucky these houses are detached because it's be like I'll be singing at the top of my lungs um, just you know it's like that saying, you know, dance as if no one's watching. It's just like just express, expressing yourself. Um, I had, when I was younger, wanted to um, be part of a lover's rock group for those who were <laughs> from my era. Um, so you would know what lover's rock is. And um, I did write a few lover's rock songs and I've done quite a bit of poetry. And that has been something that I've been sharing over the over the weeks on my podcast and um, recently I found all the poetry that I'd written over the years from like going back for, to 1985 and <laughs> it's like a long time and uh, some of it is actually you know really quite interesting when you think about what I was writing about then and thinking about now and it's a lot of a lot of it is about emotions, feelings. Anyway, so um, been doing the textiles, and um, I really love it. I really love the stitching, and it's it's another kind of revelation. Um, same kind, of, similar to the revelation I had with pastels. Like I hated pastels. I hated the feeling on my hands, and to some extent, I still do. I dislike. I don't hate it with a passion now, but I dislike my hands feeling all kind of dusty and dry but I can work through it when I'm using the pastels that I work through it and the soft pastels I find um, I love working with them but with the stitching it was just like I thought to myself I ain't got time to embroider and um, although I had this book I brought this book many years ago and it's only it's only 10p <laughs> 100 embroidery stitches and um, it was when I first got my sewing machine and I was looking through it and I was thinking thank god my sewing machine has got 30 odd stitches because I ain't got time to be sitting there embroidering despite having brought I've got about three um, embroidery hoops no, four actually and I dabbled with it but never kind of really you know embraced it full on because I just thought I do not have the patience for it I had done some um, stitching before I was then asked to be part of a show which was um, some of the artists were doing the Boro Shishiko style stitches and since then it's just like I haven't been able to put down the um, needle and different types of threads and if you can see I've got all my light embroidery threads behind me I've got now my <laughs> textiles um all my fabric i've got another two three bins of fabric and leather and it's just like i realized that i've always loved working with fabric even though i hadn't kind of made much and i always wanted to make my own clothes um so it, i've still got ideas for things I just want well I just want some simple tops or dresses that are kind of loose and you know in the Caribbean you just want something loose light and flowy so in the Caribbean breeze it kind of you know that. And, <laughs> and so for me mixed media is all about kind of just being free with the the mediums that you have and deciding which medium at that particular point you want to use to express and so that's how I use it so um, I've been yeah doing a lot of these fabric pieces I've got one that I just finished recently and I've got others to share but they will come in time now that I love stitching I'm learning I've learned the French knot recently um, I, I normally do just a simple straight stitch and obviously I could do back stitch and 
chain stitch or so I can do a few of them um, so I'm going to go through these um, this book and learn all the stitches because it's actually really nice so when you're doing the um, fabric wall hangings that I've been doing to incorporate some decorative stitches you can do some you know really um, interesting patterns because you can you know create shapes and circles and things and like with the borrow you know when you're layering and doing different uh, the stitches in different directions and using different colors you can get some really lovely effects and I have no the one that can you see that um, I've had to uh, I've had to organize the work that I've been working on because again just like with the different supplies I might work with I'll work on a particular piece and then start another piece and another so I might have several going at the same time and then there'll come a point where they all need to be say sewn with the machine or they'll all need um, an embellishment so I kind of bring them along together and then I might start a random one like I put these pieces together um, and just random pieces of uh, cloth that uh, that I had uh, found as I was clearing up I found it okay so